Welcome to the Pet Stop. I'm Dr. Brian Voynick. Well, the possibilities are endless when it comes to training your dog. You may not realize how easy and cost effective it can be to do it yourself. And certified trainer Doris Stancher is here. She says it all starts with the Do More With Your Dog program. Great to have you on, Doris. Thanks for having us. Thank Ryan. you. Yeah, pleasure. tell us about this program. Well, this program's really interesting because these tricks can be done anywhere, and mm -hmm. there's no economic barrier. Um, you can do them in an apartment, you can do them out in the field. There is no special equipment required. I just saw and you doing them in the newsroom. Thank you. Yeah, you know, <laughs> tricks, are, tricks are what's happening. Um, it gets attention. It's great for senior dogs, too. And you too. can teach old dogs new you tricks. You absolutely can teach old dogs right. new tricks. Well, let's get started. Let's sh show us some of the simple things that we can do at home. Okay, one simple thing that I like is touch. Here's the touch. Yes. Now what's great about touch is most dogs seem to naturally have an inclination to do it, mm -hmm. and it's a great backup for, uh, let's say, a recall. You know, dog's not coming, come, come, come. Boy, this is an easy one to teach. Touch and then treat immediately. And that could lead to more advanced uh, tricks, uh, but also practical things that we could do, we'll talk about next week. Absolutely. Well, that's great, so touch is important. Touch and is important. Your reward, tell us about the five things that dogs love oh, for yes. reward. For rewards, it's not just all about the food. Mm -hmm. It's food, petting, praise, play and freedom. Freedom means being able to go from one point to another. Okay. Uh, like good. a release from a stay. Good. So good. another thing that you can do with touch is this is a knitting needle. Very simple, again, very economical. Mm -hmm. And watch what you can do with touch. Touch. Then you might say, great, good job, Krista. So I'm gonna give her a little cookie. I mean she hasn't had breakfast. Okay. But um from here, how cool is this? You can put a ball on a string and teach your dog to ring those bells to go outside. So watch, touch. Good girl. Okay. So um, there you go. You know, and that's, that's important nice... for dogs that are blind too. At, at our animal hospital, sometimes exactly. they get retinal atrophy problems of one or another. But uh, exactly. the bells, the sounds are very important for dogs. Absolutely. Good. So um, from there, you know, you can take it up a notch too. In terms of, you know, we have dogs that maybe have uh, hip problems or need a little stretching, things of that. Sure. Or, or perhaps your dog's under your dinner table and you say, you know, I wish the dog would go somewhere else. Well, how about if we teach the dog to go to a spot? So I'm going to indicate to her, go to go to your place. Good girl. Maybe we'll have her sit. That could be a bed. That could be a bed. Mm -hmm. It could mm -hmm. be a rug. It could be something like mm -hmm. that. And stay. And then we can do, ready? Feet. Okay, great. Uh, I'm going to use a piece of cookie for her so she knows. Ready? Feet, girl. Good girl. Feet. See how I've isolated the feet? What a nice back stretch for this dog, your elderly dog. Okay. Now watch. Stay. Okay, come. So I, I implemented a little short stay there. And now I can have her back up. Ready? Come here. Beep, 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 beep. Good girl. Good. She knows her rear end Where can end people awareness. go to learn more about this, Doris? Well, I'm glad you asked, Brian, because I'm, I'm really excited about these Spark teams. They've popped up on Facebook, okay. and they're free. So starting the first of the month, people jump on. We all train, trainers that are like myself, certified, do more with your dog trainers. We have these free videos, and people can just come and join the party. And then I love seeing their videos when they post them back. Good. And uh, it's a great time. Okay, excellent. Well, we'll talk more next week, and thanks for coming. Awesome. Thanks okay, for having us. And you too, Krista. <gasps> Krista, let's Krista, go. we've got in store for you next week, folks. And remember, yes. you can always catch the Pet Good Stop girl. every Saturday and Sunday. At, that's at 45 minutes past the hour, starting at 6.45 a.m. For more information on anything about today's show or past shows, just log on to our website. That's news12.com. Click on Features and scroll down to the Pet Stop. You'll find all the information that you need right there. Welcome to the Pet Stop. I'm Dr. Brian Voynick. Well, last week we introduced you to the Do More With Your Dog training program. The program allows dogs of all breeds and ages to learn a multitude of tricks at home and for free. So today we're taking a look at some of the more complicated stunts that you can teach your pooch. And this is certified trainer Doris Stancher. She's here to explain. Good to have you on again, Doris. Thanks for having us. You're well, welcome. This is Krista. And what we're going to do today is we're going to talk uh, about hand signals okay. and luring. Luring is when you take a piece of food and you put it in the dog's nose and mm -hmm. get them to go into different positions. Yep. So let's go here, Krista. So I'm going to show you a simple thing. This is luring. This is a spin to the right, obviously, and a spin to the left. Now that's really great for our senior dogs because it bends their spine, gives yeah. them a chance to stretch out. But you know, you can take this to multiple levels. This is a more complicated looking spin. Ready? Krista, over here. 
touch, good girl, and spin, gi, good, ha, ready, gi, 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 good, ha. So that's one like nice little trick that you can do <laughs> with them. She is one bright Wheaton, isn't she? Thank you. But but uh, you, you can teach that with with any breed, any size, any, any age. Any breed, mm -hmm. any age. Okay. It keeps them engaged and and it makes them really want to have fun and builds the relationship. Keeps those dogs in their forever homes. Good, 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 good. So would you like to see another? Please, trick? yeah, okay. absolutely. Um, using the same principle of luring, you can have her go through your legs. I mean, put on a little soft shoe dance music, uh -huh. or amp it up a bit, <laughs> and we're back in the club dancing. Good girl. So that's and then the you principle, see, and you could. And then later on you lift your hands up and you lose the lure and it becomes very pretty you know so Great. that's another one that you can do very good um, and one of our favorites you know we do visit uh, people for therapy mm -hmm. and um, you know those those can be very um, uh, and we're rewarding visits. Sure. But we also do want to entertain and make people feel a little lighter so right. one thing we love to do is say our prayers. Okay. Feet up Say your prayers. Now this is a three-part trick. Oh. The first part of this is getting the dog to want to put their feet onto something. It could mm -hmm. be a platform. It could be the arm. Okay. And then the second part is uh, having the dog lower themselves, and then of course the okay and the release. Oh, so it's great. not that difficult. The freedom part that you mentioned. The freedom part that I mm -hmm. had mentioned. Mm -hmm. Yes. And you can see, look, she's engaged and ready to work. I think she wants to do something else, Brian. Again, the five things that you mentioned last week. The freedom is the last, but the things that reward. Uh, it's not oh, yeah. only food. Well, well, food is the one that most people think of with positive training, but yeah. it's just not the, the whole enchilada. Um, it's also praise and play and of course petting and freedom. Freedom, the ability to move from one place to the other. Okay. Think of like stay and then okay. You right, know? right, right, right. Okay, good, good. How about another treat uh, or another trick? Sure. Um, this is our favorite. It's called the moonwalk, and I'm okay. going to use a, a cookie to get her motivated. All right. you know, she's a hard-working girl here. <laughs> she so, is. Ready, Krista? Hey, let's go over here. Krista, ready? And ready? Scoop. Krista, scoop. Ready? Scoop. There we go. Scoop. Good girl. I'm going to have her do a little bit more. Scoop. There we go. Good girl. Scoop. And this side. There you go. Good. It's like the moonwalk, right? You're going backwards. <laughs> Michael Very Jackson good. style. There. And then go boop. So and it's all positive reinforcement, Doris. All positive Thank reinforcement. Thank you so much. We'll have you on again. I appreciate it. Thanks for having You're us. You're welcome. Here's what we're working on for tomorrow. And remember, you can always catch the Pet Stop every Saturday and Sunday. And that's 45 minutes past the hour, starting at 6.45 a.m. For more information on anything about today's show or even past shows, log on to our website. That's news12.com. Click on Features and scroll down to the Pet Stop. You'll find all the information that you need right there.